Hello, I am the Summoner of Robots, and joining me today is this drone. Now, I built this drone a month or so ago, and since then it's accumulated some problems. Mainly, this wire to this motor has come desoldered, so that motor no longer runs, which isn't great. I'd also like to make a system for more easily attaching the battery and maybe the flight controller also, so I'm going to do those two after I've soldered the wire back on. Yes, I am fully aware of what a terrible soldering job that was. Just be glad I didn't make you watch the whole thing. <laughs> so now I'm going to put some hot glue on here just as insulation on the contacts so that if a piece of wire gets in there it doesn't shirt stuff out. Then, I'm going to get some epoxy, and epoxy the flight controller onto a Lego, and epoxy a Lego onto the frame. That way I can easily put the flight controller on and take it off again. I'm going to do the same with the battery on the bottom. So, I've gotten myself some epoxy, and some Legos, and a stick to stir them with, and something to mix the epoxy on, and I've opened a window for ventilation. So now I'm going to start mixing the epoxy up, if I can get it out of the bag. That looks pretty well mixed. I'm gonna spread it on the studs on this Lego brick now. Mainly because those will be the only parts that are really in contact with the flight controller. Okay. Then I'm just gonna stick it down there. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to move on to this other brick. And on this one I'm going to coat the bottom because it's going to be going on the drone instead. Actually, I can just like plop that down in the puddle of epoxy. I'll put some more on with the popsicle stick though. Okay. Okay, and I'll leave that to sit a while and cure. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, my hands are a bit less sticky now. Um, so I was planning to epoxy this part onto the bottom to hold the battery, but in a truly amazing failure of forward planning, I can't really hold it on the bottom while that's being held on the top. So I might just epoxy the bottom of this, put it on top of something, and then stack the drone on top of that, and we'll see how that works. Okay. Uh, is this still hot? It is. I'm just gonna put a dab of hot glue on here. I'm 
just gonna plug in the glue gun and let it heat up again. <laughs> I'm planning to put a dab of hot glue on here so that I can stick down this piece and it's not gonna move around on what I'm using to hold it up, which will just make the whole arrangement a little bit more stable. Okay, the glue gun's hot now. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue on there. And because it's gluing two plastics together, it'll come off pretty easily when I need to take it off again. And I'm also going to use a trick that I learned working on another project, which is when you've got epoxy with a really long cure time, you can use just a little dab of hot glue here or there to secure it in place until it's fully cured. If I can, like, get it to work there, okay. So that should make that a good deal more sturdy. Um, and I don't think I need to do it on this one because this one's just sitting around until I'm ready for it again. Um, so now I'm gonna get some more of this epoxy and smear it on this Lego piece. Okay, that seems smeared pretty well, so I'm just gonna lower this on really carefully. Okay. Oh. Okay, and now I'm just going to try not to look at it wrong and make it fall over. That seems like it's gonna stay, so I'm just gonna leave it there for a long time. Just kidding, um, I've got some sticky notes and I'm gonna make little supports to go under there just in case it does decide to fall over. If I can, there, found the scissors, okay. Okay, that seems much less likely to fall over. So now I'm actually going to leave it there for a while. Okay, so I've now let this cure for several hours, so it should be perfectly done. So I'm gonna pick this up off of here. Oh, the glue is kinda stuck. Gonna peel that off. Gonna peel it all off. Okay, and now I should be able to just twist that off. There. So now, I've got all this, what seems pretty nice and interchangeable. Um, and then I'm gonna peel this hot glue off, and then I'm gonna try putting the flight controller on. Okay. Now, you may have noticed that this flight controller is quite modified from the stock version. The stock version comes soldered onto the propellers. I didn't want to have to solder that every time I wanted to move it from one vehicle to another. So I soldered on these pin headers and I can just plug in the motors whenever I want to. So I could put it on a vehicle like this hovercraft, but I'm not going to because this hovercraft is terrible. I'll be building a new one soon. 
So instead, I'm gonna put it on this drone, and then I'll try to fly it, see how it flies. Okay, it seems to be stuck on there pretty well. Um, let's route the battery cable. And the last one. Nice. So I've got a battery here. I hope it's charged. And the tiny little controller that works with the flight controller. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this battery now. We have lights. That's good. That is a good sign. Okay, battery is connected. Yeah. What's up here? It seems that all the soldering work I did didn't actually work. So... Um, the good news is that I can actually just jump that cable, that, that pin that didn't solder properly, because it is a common pin and there's no signals going through it, so I can just jump it to another common pin on the board. So I guess I'll go do that now. Well, I got it. Looks kind of ugly. It's got a big, huge jumper going across the top, but it does work, which is the important part. So I'm going to heat up the hot glue gun, put some glue on here just to insulate everything again. Then I'm going to put it in the drone and hopefully demonstrate it. Okay, the glue gun's hot, so I'm going to glue this. I'm going to try to get some insulation on the contacts over here first. And it's also structural... St sorry. Structural reinforcement. So, in case I crash this herd, it won't break as easily. I say in case. When I crash this herd, it won't break as easily. <laughs> That's looking pretty good. I think I've learned my lesson about unplugging the glue gun. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna attach this back on here. If I can get that through. There, okay. You'll notice that on the bottom section of the flight controller, I only have two little Lego studs holding it in. That's just so it's easier to put on and take off without, like, over-stressing the thing. Okay. There. That's pretty nice. And... Two... And... Three... Okay, and now I'm going to put on the battery, and then, hopefully, this can fly for the first time. Look at the 
those lights. They look so cool with the translucent frame. Okay, not bad. Not bad, but I clear some more space. And you know what? I will unplug the hot glue gun. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna level this desk a bit while I synchronize the gyros. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. It works. It definitely works. That looks cool. Man, this thing looks cool. And especially great at night. I am the Summoner of Robots. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.